Good evening. Thanks for joining me for Inside the Four Walls Live. Well, today we spoke with first year midfielder Miles Paholke and started by asking him how he's finding his first season in the AFL system. Yeah, it's been a blast. Um, it obviously took me a while to get going and for my body to get used to things, but um, yeah, I think it's adapted really well and it's been good to get some consistent footy on my belt. Well, it's a big step up to AFL level and we also touched on the differences from junior footy. Well, obviously, junior footy, you're only a training probably once or twice a week, so um, coming into the club every day in, in an elite environment like this, um, you really strive off it and you learn um, a lot of things every day and you've got to make sure that you keep moving forward with all those things. Miles and fellow first-year draftee Jordan Gallucci are good mates and that certainly made the move to Adelaide much easier. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not sure what the experience would be like um, coming without someone like that. So I know that it's been, um, it's been really easy coming into an environment like this with a, with a friendly face. So, um, yeah, it's been really good to, to grow and um, evolve with him and um, hopefully a few more years to come. The veterans at Westlakes are always welcoming. And so how is their leadership around the club? Yeah, they've been awesome. Um, the lady group, leadership group especially, um, really early days, they've been really good in um, inviting first year groups into their homes and having dinner with, with this and um, really taking the time to get to know us and stuff. So they've been yeah, amazing in um, making us feel really welcome in, within the group. Well, he's had a fantastic season so far in the Sample and he gave us an insight into his year and what the goals are for the rest of the season. It's a step up from last year. Obviously, there's some bigger bodies, um, which I thought I was used to, but um, it was still a little bit more of a, more adapting to go um, from the start of the year. But yeah, it's been good to find my feet um, probably the last six or seven weeks, especially. Um, and yeah, good to get some good footy under my belt. Um, well, hopefully get get at least one game under my belt. Um, I mean, that's been the goal all year since coming to the club. So it's good to be um, thereabouts this time of year. Obviously, it's an exciting time of year, and hopefully, I do get that one game, or, or hopefully a few more um, by the end of the season. Hopefully, we can go do bigger and better things. Of course, last weekend was his first time selected as a travelling emergency, which enabled him to catch up with some family as well as see a game at the MCG. Obviously, it was good to see the family. Um, I hadn't seen them for probably three months, so um, it was good to watch the game with them. And um, I was sitting in the cheer squad, so that was a bit of a different feel as well. So, no, it was good fun. Sitting in the cheer squad certainly provided a good view of the clutch goal from Mitch McGovern to steal a draw. That was right in front of us, so um, he, he took that mark and... Um, I was going to get going with about three minutes to go, get back in the change room to meet the boys, but I couldn't leave with a finish like that. So, um, yeah, he, he almost kicked it down my throat, so it was almost like a Saturday. Well, the feeling around the squad was a bit unusual after the draw, so what was the reaction in the rooms? Yeah, it was a bit funny in the change rooms as well. Um, people, you know, even Gov himself, he, was, he said that he didn't really know how to feel about it and um, everyone was calling him you know, a hero and stuff when he didn't really feel like a hero because it was only a draw and we didn't get the four points, but... Um, obviously, it was massive for him to go back and kick that goal and show real maturity. Living with Hugh Greenwood has proved to be a great experience for Miles, but what distracts Hugh from the housework? Yeah, Hugh's been awesome. Um, Hugh and his girlfriend, Kirsten, they've been really welcoming, and, and the two boys, Jackson Rioli, uh, the two little uh, French Bulldogs that we got. Um, yeah, he's been awesome. He's really helped me within the club and also outside of the club in um, getting you safe our life. <laughs> he games too much. <laughs> Doesn't help out, but no, he helps out. Um, but yeah, he always sneak off every night and he let off into the games room and game with a few of the boys. Off the field, Miles is joining the illustrious ranks of golfers at Westlake. So how does he go on the course and does he take on the big boys? Well, I got into golf early days, but then um, as the seasons, as we've got deeper into the season, I've been a little bit too tired to get out in the golf, so I haven't probably played for a while, but try to stay away from there. I'm not quite up to their level yet. So um, me, Geordie and Sigo mostly just go out and play by ourselves and um, yeah, try and get up to the level before we go and compete with the big boys. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat to us, Miles, and good luck for the rest of the season. And thanks for your time as well. Don't forget we are live at 5.55 Monday through Thursday every week of the season. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Go Crows. <laughs>